this took a lot of effort to bring to you. Who would have thought you could generate an AI avatar of this quality for free right on your own PC? I've tested tons of different methods and finally found the one that gives the best results in both speed and quality. Recently, a significant number of different open source models for generating AI avatars have been released. However, there was a major issue with them. These models required extremely powerful GPUs with a large amount of video memory. But now the situation has changed. We have an AI model tool that makes it possible to generate high-quality AI avatars on relatively modest machines with comparatively short generation times. And I'm talking about a tool called MultiTalker, but precisely about app 1.2GP, and GP stands for GPU Poor. It's definitely not in use for comfy UI users, but it's not about them, because we're here talking about instrument for simple people who don't like BDSM practices. Alright, let's start with installation. To be honest, I've tried so many different methods and the majority of them is quite complicated and not so reliable. So the best option for you is to use specific app to install AI applications and this is Pinocchio. To download Pinocchio, go to pinocchio.co and just download the, the application on your device depending on your operation system. You can be sure that it's very safe to use, especially if you're using verified scripts. I strongly recommend it. So, to download your application, press Discover button in a Pinocchio and in a search bar enter 1. And it will be sufficient to find our app. Press 1, 2.1. And here, press Install with Pinocchio. Choose your name for your repository and press Download. Well, it takes about uh, an hour depending on your internet. And after that, the repository will be available for using. Well, after five minutes, I've got the message that installation completed. And I'm not sure that it's completed properly. We've got a message here that it failed. But okay, let's try to... Mm, to run it. We just started our application and here is one for GPU poor. That's a very simple application, so don't worry about all that features here. The first thing you need to do is just choose the model right here, Waze Multitalk Fusion X, and then you download the model. So let's test out our application. For this, um, we need to choose text to video tab here, then uh, reference images, choose inject only object or people. Add your AI avatar, which you generated in any image generator you like. I'm using my old one, this lady. And automatic removal of background, if you need it. In our case, we don't need removing of background. Choose the voice. One person speaking only, or maybe two persons. It depends on your particular user case. But in our case, for testing, one person will be definitely enough. So let's choose one. Our voice. Let's choose our audio fragment. You can trim the audio right here. I need to trim it. Because this took a lot of effort to bring to you. All right. Now we need to specify our prompt. In my case, it will be a speaking woman is looking into the camera and gesturing actively. Yes, you can even specify this. Or you can specify anything you like. So let it be this one. Category, there, there are several options with different resolutions, but I recommend to use uh, the lowest one because I think you don't have too much powerful GPU for this. And next step, very important, number of frames. You need to specify this manually every time. In our case, the voice to follow is a uh, head duration of three minutes. So it should be about 75 uh, frames. So let it be 77. Number of inference steps, let it be just a 10, but you can once again experiment with that. Advanced mode, if you need it, also is here. I think you don't need that. The next step is configuration. You need to specify your performance parameters specifically for you GPU. In my case, uh, for example, transformer data type should be BF16 because I have uh, 3090Ti, which works better with BF16. To me, in majority of cases, you can use default parameters for your GPU, at least in the beginning, but then you can once again experiment with them. Uh, let's start our video generation. Uh, here is the parameters which I used. The attention mode is auto, PyTorch completion is own because I have uh, VSL 
you need to VSL for that. If you don't know what is VSL, it doesn't matter. The data type, FP16 for some reason. Oh yes, I forgot to apply the settings. Apply changes. Now let's just press generate button. And now we starting to making our video and all process could be controlled right here in a terminal. We've got our log here. And also important information, when you just started your first generation, it takes a lot of time because you need to download all needed models. And I think it takes about one hour for that. But I already have my models here. I just can wait to generate my video. And for me, uh, if we're talking about three seconds, it takes about five up to seven minutes to generate it on my GPU, which is uh, 3090 Ti. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of ROM, might be a reason for that long time, but at least it worked. If you don't have powerful GPU, it's still gonna work on your machine because it takes only 8 gigs of VRAM. But also a viable option is to use rented GPU. You can use any service for that reason. There are a lot of them like a VestiI, CellTI, all of them work perfectly. If you need me to make video for that, how to use them, specifically for generating AI avatars, because to me, uh, renting a 1480i for generating video is a really good idea. It allows you to save a lot of time, a lot of money, and it's better than using paid services. At the same time, it gives you much more freedom. All right, after eight minutes, we've got our video and let's have a look. Because this took a lot of effort to bring to you. Well, as you can see, that looks very, very impressive. And to be honest, it looks much better than majority of paid services. But of course, it took a lot of time to generate. In my case, it's eight minutes for three seconds. But uh, to my experience, the video with uh, five seconds took me about 10 minutes. A longer video would be better. And the limit of the length of the video is just uh, 30 seconds. It's very important. And these uh, videos will be chopped on chunks and then united after the processing of video. So um, you need to generate several videos at the same time. But it's not a problem because here you can find a QE management very, very convenient. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.